The first thing we need to do is to make sure we have Composer installed. If you've used Composer before, then you probably do have it installed. If you want to check, go to the command line and run which Composer, or you can also run Composer version. If that returns nothing or command not found, then you don't have it. If it does, then you do. Now we need to install it here. So what do we do to do that? We need to go to getcomposer.org. At getcomposer.org is the main site. You can go to download and then follow these instructions. So you want to follow these carefully because there are some hashes here to make sure that you have a legitimate version of Composer. First, we'll copy this command here, drop it in, hit enter, and then go to the next one, copy it, drop it in, hit enter. And we want to make sure that we get installer verified. That means what we downloaded here matches this hash. So we know we have a verified copy of the installer. And then we want to run composer setup. And again, I'm just copying and pasting. So I make sure I'm following the instructions and there it is now downloaded and installed. It's installed right in my project root directory. It's not where I want it. I want to move it after that. And we're just going to unlink here real quick. And now I want to move that composer directory. So I look at it. It is right here. And I don't want it here. I want it somewhere globally in my path. So we're going to move the composer.far file to user local bin composer. So we do move composer.far to user local bin composer, and we're renaming it to just composer so we can access it with that as the command name. And because I'm moving it to user local bin, this is, is in my path. And that's meaning that whenever I write a command or type a command on the command line, it is going to look here for it. So I don't have to type this full path every time. It's going to check, oh, is that command, is that executable here? If it is, then we'll keep going. So now I can run which composer, and there it is. Use your local bin composer. You can also run composer dash dash version. And I'm running composer version 1.9.2, released on January 14th, 2020. I'm also going to open up my bash rc file. And this is where I store environment stuff. And if I open that up, you can see at the top, the path is set to a lot of things that are going to be checked. And one of them is user local bin. So I know that that's going to work and we export it here. So I'm good to go. I do have a video on craft quest on how to work with the path and set the path and work with that in your command line. So you can check out that video, just search for it in the search bar at the top of the site. So now with that done, we are ready to install craft. Aren't you excited?